Two films nominated at this year's Academy Awards have sparked some interesting discussion. The documentaries are powerful political films from both sides of the Israeli-Palestinian divide. Both provide separate accounts of the conflict, but arrive at the same conclusion, that the status quo is not sustainable. Here's Stuart Greer. A fifth camera smashed by an Israeli rubber bullet. Five Broken Cameras is the title of an Oscar-nominated documentary that chronicles the struggle of a Palestinian village against Israeli occupation. The film evolved from a father's project to record his son's first years of life. This one saved my life, this camera. Amateur filmmaker Imad Burnat says his five shattered cameras are his favorite trophies, but he's humbled by the dozens of international awards he's received and for his Academy Award nomination. I think the Oscar to be there it's, uh, will, will draw big attention f to, the, to the Palestinian situation from the, the, the people and the international community. And this is what's important for me. Israel says it has the right to build settlements despite being illegal under international law. The UN, the US and Canada call them a roadblock to peace. Another film also up for an Oscar examines how Israel itself has been damaged by carrying out the occupation. In the documentary, The Gatekeepers, six former chiefs of Israel's secret police agree the occupation must end. They say it's only generated a spiral of violence. When you are fighting terrorism, you feel the human tragedy, you, you feel the human feeling of another nation that some of them deserve prison, most of them deserve freedom and deserve their own state. Thanks to the Oscars, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is getting renewed international attention. One man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. And with a visit to the region by U.S. President Barack Obama planned for next month, there's perhaps a chance to write a new, more peaceful chapter. Stuart Greer, Global News, London.